everyone. Today I'm making roasted garlic smashed sweet potato and turnip. It's one of my favorite side dishes. My mom used to make it when I was growing up as a kid in the fall and I just absolutely loved it. There's something about the sweet potato mixed with the turnip that kind of tastes like a mix between a carrot and something slightly bitter. It's just so good, it's so endearing, and I can't wait to make it for you today. So it starts off with roasting garlic. And all you do is you take a big head of garlic and you're gonna go ahead and take basically the knob side off. So you're gonna give it a nice chop. And as you can see, it exposes all of the little pieces of garlic, all the little cloves. And what you're gonna do is you're going to take three sheets of foil to roast this garlic. And you're going to take a water glass and you're gonna make like a little foil cup. You're just going to press all the sides up on the cup, just like that. Take the glass right out and you have a nice foil cup. It's perfect. You're gonna stick your garlic right inside the cup all the way down inside. And then you're going to take some olive oil and you're just going to pour olive oil all the way up so that the garlic is completely covered in olive oil. There you go. You can see it's completely covered. And then all you have to do is you're going to fold up the sides of this little container that we built and you're going to roast this guy at 400 for about 30 minutes and all of the little cloves will get nice and caramelized and fantastic. Let's get roasting. Okay, so now that the garlic is in the oven, we're gonna take care of our sweet potato and turnip. We have two sweet potatoes here and we have one turnip and we're just going to peel them. Very simple, you just take a peeler and you're just going to peel the skin right off. It takes me a really long time to peel things. I feel like it's so awkward. So we're all peeled, and now we're going to cut these in cubes. So I have my turnip, it's nice and peeled, and we're just going to cut the ends off. I'm gonna go ahead and chop the ends off. And then we're just going to cube them. And we cube them because they'll actually cook and boil faster if they're in small chunks. You can just throw them in boiling water, but it's gonna take forever. And who has that time? Okay, so we're gonna do the second half, cut them into chunks. And then we're going to do a similar thing for our sweet potatoes. So you're just gonna take the sweet potato, we're gonna cut the ends off, those we won't use, set those aside. And then you're just gonna cut them into rough chunks. They don't need to be pretty because we're gonna mash them. All right, so they're all cubed up. I'm just gonna stick all of these in boiling water for about 30 minutes until they're fork tender. Hopefully I won't drop them. So our sweet potatoes and turnips are done boiling. They're nice and fork tender. I'm gonna stick them into another bowl here. Ooh, one potato <laughs> won't come out. It's always fine. And then I'm going to mash them up. You can get a nice little facial too with all the steam. <laughs> so I'm just gonna put all my muscle into it and I'm gonna mash them until they're completely mashed <laughs> and nice and mixed together. So our potatoes and our turnips are mashed and we're gonna go ahead and add our roasted garlic. Look at how beautiful it is. It's nice and toasty. We're gonna take a few cloves, however many you like. I usually add about three cloves to this, but if you like a ton, you can technically add all of it. You're just gonna slide them right into the bowl. 
And then we're going to make it even more garlicky by adding just a few teaspoons of this beautiful garlic oil that the garlic was roasting in. So you're gonna add a few generous teaspoons. And then we're just gonna mix it all together. Make sure to add your salt and pepper too. Oh, it smells so good. So I mixed all the garlic in with the sweet potato and turnips. And now it's just time to plate. I have a nice bowl here. I love serving this dish family style around Thanksgiving time. Talk about a great side dish. You can add some sage too, if you would like, or just plate it with sage and it's nice and pretty. <laughs> All right. There we have it. Our smashed turnips and sweet potato with roasted garlic. I am gonna give it a try. All right, here we go. So garlicky. It reminds me so much of growing up around Thanksgiving time, having nice side dishes. It's sweet, it has a little bit of bitterness, a little bitter aftertaste. It's just so delicious. Check out the full recipe on tastefullygrace.com. You won't regret it.